Hello world, welcome back to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and if you like what you see, remember that the contents on this channel are based on comments, questions, or requests that I get from you guys, the awesome viewers. All right, so the question for today is how... Come on, come on guys, stop it. How can I get... Uh, how can I create a GitHub webhook so that I can get a notification when an issue or a pull request is labeled with a specific label. Okay, so for this one, uh, we probably, because we're gonna be interacting with um, requests, HTTP requests, we're gonna need to build a simple web application. So let's get started on that. And what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this particular web framework called Flask in Python. And it's pretty much, it will allow us to build a web application. So the first thing that you have to do in order to do uh, work with Flask is we have to install it. And you can see here that it says requirement already satisfied when I execute that pip command. If you don't have it, then it's gonna install it for you. All right, so I think we're gonna do this in just one simplify and let's call listening to GitHub, something like that, right? So here we have our file. So we're gonna start uh, importing a couple of modules from Flask so that we can get uh, this thing going. So we're gonna do Flask import JSON so that we can read the data that we're gonna be uh, getting from GitHub. Import requests so that we can uh, work with the headers from Flask. Uh, import pretty much Flask so that we can start our application. So the first thing that we're gonna name our application, but we're gonna go with the default. We're gonna go with something like that, right? So now application, it will be uh, the one that we're gonna be running. It's the one that is going to be listening to our um, HTTP stuff. So let's, let's first do something simple. Uh, let's first define, I don't know, let's go with root. It's gonna be the root of the application. And we're gonna return, welcome guys. So that it's a very, very simple web application. The, on the, the only thing that it's gonna do is once you hit it, uh, you, we should get that welcome guys message display in our, in our browser. So in order to run it, uh, we're gonna go typical code in Python. We're gonna call main and we're gonna say up run. And here we're gonna set the bug equal to true so that uh, we get all the messages to our console in case something goes wrong. Okay, so that's that's a very, very basic one, right? So let's what we're we gonna do is we're gonna right click and then let's start running this. Looks like it's running and you can see that it's running in the local host, right? So if we hit this in our machine, welcome guys, there you go. That's a very, very simple web application that it's working as expected. Now, if we're gonna go with GitHub, uh, GitHub, we are expecting it to post messages to a web application so that we can get that information out of it, right? So let's start creating uh, here another method, app route, and here let's let's call it different. Let's let's go. I'm just gonna go with GitHub, something like that, right? So that means that uh, this time, this particular route will be something like this, GitHub. That's what what the we need to hit in order to call the method that I'm gonna create here, right? Okay, so let's start with that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have here, we have to specify which method we want to use. In this case, it's going to be a post because it's going to be a post coming from GitHub. So the fine API uh, GitHub message, okay? So in this particular one, we're gonna say the request, get me the headers, and the headers in content type, it's gonna be equal to application JSON. Why? Because we wanna work with JSON. That, I don't know, I find it a lot, a lot easier to work with JSON objects. We just get that dictionary in Python. You just don't dump, sorry, you just dump the JSON into a dictionary and then you can access it really uh really nice so this one is going to return json dumps 
And what we want to dump is the request, the JSON request, okay? So pretty much this one is it's saying, when you hit this with slash GitHub, and it's a post uh, request, the one that it's coming, take a look at the content type. If the content type is application uh, slash JSON, then just return the JSON object from this post request and dump it, okay? So that's, that's the only thing that we're gonna do there. So very, very simple application. So let's, uh, let's run it. We run it, method. It's, here it's complaining about a method. Oh, it's because here it's methods, okay? So let's rerun it and seems that it's, it's listening here. So let's hit it again. Okay, good, it, it hit the get request. So what happens if I do GitHub? Okay, method not allowed, but it actually, it's posting something. Okay, cool. So what we need is we need to pass information from GitHub to our web's, uh, web application. Now, the problem here is that GitHub, it's in the outside world, right? And this application, it's running in my local machine, in my local host, so they won't be able to communicate at all. In order to overcome that issue, you can install this tool called ngrok. And this, like it says here, it, it exposes the local server to the outside world. Okay, so make sure that you come here, download, and then download for your specific distribution. I already downloaded for my Mac OS, so I'm gonna open a terminal here. You can see that right here, it's my NROC. So, uh, you can see that our web application is listing on port 5000. So, we're gonna run NROC with HTTP because it's, this is an HTTP, I'm not using HTTPS, and I'm just gonna put the port number there. So I click and this, awesome tool starts running and then it gives me this link right here. This is the forwarding link. This is the link that it's, it's out there for the outside world. So you can see that if I hit this link, I'm getting the exact same message that I'm getting from my local host. Why? Because it's forwarding that information to my local host and then exposing it and then giving it to me. So that's good. That's pretty much good. That's pretty much it. That's, that's what we need in order to expose our web application to the outside world. Now with this particular one, GitHub can listen to us. Okay. So keep in mind this one. So now let's go to our GitHub application and get a repository that you own. In this particular one, I'm just using test repo. Uh, if you come here to settings, you will see here an option or something that is called webhooks. So you come here to webhooks, you can see that I have one, already one. I'm gonna edit this one. Let me then just put this a little bit bigger. So right here, this is where I'm going to pass this. You can see GitHub, GitHub right here. But I'm gonna pass the one that NROC gave me. So in this case, now it's gonna be something like this, right? So I'm saying the payload URL, whatever you're gonna post GitHub, post it to this web application. Here, I'm gonna select application JSON because that's what I want. My content type, application JSON, I just want that thing to, to come here. So the question says that uh, send me something when a pull request or an, or an issue, it's labeled. Okay, so here you can select just the push event, send me everything, or let me individual events. In this case, uh, for pull requests, you can see that it's going to send us something when it's open, close, reopen, edit, and here it says label. Okay, so I'm gonna select this one, and then I'm gonna update my webhook. Okay, once this webhook is updated, now let's see if we create a pull request, and the pull request it's label, then this particular one should be hit it and then a JSON dump should be called and we should be able to see right here the data that it's coming from GitHub. So let's open a new pull request. Uh, yeah, from this one, it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's uh, create a new pull request and this is going to be YouTube, YouTube demo, okay. This is a test, testing web hooks. And now I'm gonna create a pull request and boom, it was created. There's a post. That's cool, nothing is happening here. This one, it's not getting hit. Why? Because we are, we have not labeled this thing. 
right? And that's when the webhook is going to start hitting this. So you can see here that we have reviewers assigning and labels. All right, so let's label it. If I click here and I don't know, let's put, let's add help on it. So the pull request should be labeled now and I'm getting a post. That's good. But why am I not getting any information out? Well, it's actually returning it, right? So probably it will be good if we can print it. So let's do something like this. Uh, my info is gonna be this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print my info. And yeah, let's return it to return my info. All right, cool. So now if I add another label, bug, Okay, boom. Woohoo! You can see here the information that it's coming and it's saying it's action, label, and then it's it's telling me about the labels. Look, a bug label was added. What if I add another one? Duplicate. There you go. It's telling me that a duplicate label was added. Okay, so let's let's think about what we did here. Simple web application using Flask. You can see that it's very, very useful and it's very, very easy to do. We're creating a post uh, method here, post request method that it's telling us that when a post, it's happening to our web application and it's content type, it's application JSON. Just get that JSON data, assign it to a variable, print it and return it. So here you can do more fun, fancy stuff, right? Like, like you can give the actual name of this things or maybe you can initiate other operations based on the label. Right, so that's that's it. That's how you create a GitHub webhook to notify when your uh, PR or an issue it's label. We we talk about how you create the webhook here in the settings part of your GitHub repo, and how you use Flask and and Rock to create a web application, expose it to the outside world, and listen to whatever GitHub it's spitting on you. Hope this answers your question, and if it doesn't. Just send me an email, comment, let me know, and we can improve this code, all right? So thanks for listening. Thanks for showing up, guys, and see you next time.